Hello, Stamping friends. I am Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today, I have two quick and easy projects for you. And you still have time because these projects you can use on your holiday table this Thanksgiving. I have a cute name tag that you can add to everyone's place setting on your at your table and also a card and they coordinate. So let me turn the camera down and let's get started. I'm going to be using the Hello Harvest bundle and that is this stamp set. You're such a blessing. Hello. Wishing you the loveliest day. Has floral images, flower, leaf. You are missed. Uh, we're going to use this. We're going to use the pumpkin and the leaf for our first project. And then we're going to use the sentiment. You are such a blessing for our second project. And then these are the rustic uh, pumpkin dies. And you can find this in the mini catalog. And we are going to use uh, this die and the leaf die. But you can also make uh, a pumpkin with these dies, a banner, and the stem of the pumpkin. And you have some swirls, cuts out the uh, floral image and the flower. So a really fun stamp set bundle. Let me show you the name tag that we're going to make first. And these are the projects today are quick and easy. You still have time to make these to be able to use on Thursday. So here is a name plate. Uh, we have our pumpkin, the two leaves, and you're able to write the person's name or whatever you would like on this. And then just set that by their place setting and how fun is that so let's start with Cajun craze so we need Cajun craze cardstock and we're going to cut this at four inches by five and three fourths And you can use the Simply Score, or you can just go ahead and use your trimmer. We're going to turn this, place it at two inches, and then we're going to use our scoring blade. And lay our trimmer aside. And then we're just going to fold our Cajun Craze cardstock in half. And then I'm going to bring in basic white, and this is one and three fourths by five and a half. And we are going to go ahead and place it on here. Now I realize we're going to be covering some of the basic white. We're going to be covering some of that up. So you could make it a little bit shorter if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and use one and three quarters by five and a half the basic white and then I'm just going to center this on our tag our name tag and I'm going to lay that aside and bring in a scrap scrap of basic white and you're going to need two ink colors for this project Old Olive and Basic Gray. So I'm going to start with Basic Gray. And I've already added uh, our image to our block. Sorry about that. It's going to be moving the grid paper. Okay, I'm going to ink this up. and old olive and we are going to stamp two leaves i'm going to 
fern and because I want to try to save as much of my scraps. So I'll put them up there and we still have this part we can use for another card. Going to bring in our blends. I'm using crumb cake, uh, dark crumb cake, light and dark Cajun craze. I'm going to start with the dark. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over all of the lines that are already printed for us. And this will help give us a little contrast. And, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the dark and blend over there. And over here on this side, we will add some dark. Then I'll come back with the light Cajun craze. And we'll kind of blend that together. And every time you do this, it's going to come out a little bit different. And that's okay. And then we're going to die cut this out. And you can even leave a little, some little spaces that are white. Because as you know, sometimes there's a little markings on the pumpkins. And then I'm going to come back with the dark a little bit. And just add some dark here. And right up there, come back with the light and just kind of blend that together. And then I'm not going to color in the middle, so it's a little bit lighter right there. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this on down. And now I'm going to, well, we need to do our stem and our dark crumb cake. Now you could use dark and light if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go ahead and just use the dark and color our stem. Bring in our dies for the leaf also. And then I'm going to run this through the cut and emboss machine. I'll be right back. Here are our pieces already die cut. And you could easily, if you don't have the dies, you could easily uh, cut around the pumpkin. It's fairly easy. The same with the leaves. And let's say you have 10 people at your Thanksgiving. You can go ahead and cut, um, you know, stamp these, color them, and then just cut them out. And they'll just attach really really easy okay so we're ready to put our little tag together so i'm going to turn our leaves over and i'm going to bring in our glue dots and i'm going to place actually what i'm going to do i'm not going to turn it over i'm going to put a glue dot on the front of the leaf so i'm going to do it like this so i'm adding the glue dot on the front of each leaf so and then I'm going to place put our pumpkin there and then decide how I want that and then I'm going to turn this over and we're going to add dimensionals and I want to make sure we get a dimensional down here to kind of keep those two leaves together and I'm not going to put any dimensionals here because it's going to go above our tag 
so it's not going to be on our tag. So we don't need to have any dimensionals here. Um, although you could put one right here because we do want those leaves to stay. Okay, let's bring the name tag in and then let's go ahead and And here's our first project. And again, just put the person's name and it's ready to set up by their place setting. Um, you can also, of course, uh, this is five and three fourths. If you want it uh, shorter, you can most certainly uh, adjust that size. So it's really quick and easy and it will look nice on your, at your place settings at your table. You can lay this aside and let's make a quick card that you could also lay maybe on their napkin or on their their plate and the only thing different that I'm going to be using for this card I'm going to be using the designer series paper that goes with um, this bundle and it's rustic harvest designer series paper and it is in our mini our July through December mini catalog so there's lot, lots of pretty designer series paper in this pack. And I'm going to be using the one with the pumpkins because we're going to kind of coordinate that. And I'm going to be using this piece right here. And we're going to coordinate with our Thanksgiving tag, name tag for the place setting. We're going to use Cajun Craze ink for this card. Going to bring in our card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fold this in half. Give it a good crease. You'll need Cajun Craze cardstock, and this is five and a quarter by four. And we're just going to go ahead and this will be a layer on the front of our card along with designer series paper, which is cut at five by three and three quarters. So let's go ahead and attach these two together. Then I'm going to bring in a strip of designer series paper, which is one inch by five. And then I'm going to add this about right here on the left hand side. So we'll add some adhesive. Lay that aside, bring in, this is uh, a tag from the Stylish Shapes dies, and I'm going to bring in You Are Such a Blessing and our Cajun Craze, and we'll ink this up. Stamp You Are Such a Blessing, turn this over, add some dimensionals. bring our card in or actually our layers of our card we're going to place this about right here and then we are going to go ahead and turn this over and add some adhesive and add this to our card base and then we'll finish our card so bring in our card base Add the layer of Cajun Craze and our designer series paper. I'm going to bring in some ribbon. This is the Garden Green, and this is from the mini catalog. It comes in a combo pack with uh, red and Garden Green. It's in that mini catalog. So 
So you just kind of work with your bow and get it like you want. And find my scissors. And then I'm going to bring in a glue dot. And you will add a glue dot on our bow. And then we're going to place that right here. And if you want to, you can always add two uh, dots, two glue dots. I'm going to do a little bit of trimming here. Let's just do a little bit right here. And of course, we definitely want to add some gems. I'm bringing in these gems. These are the uh, amber gem. But they come with uh, leaves. So it's a leaf label and amber gem. It's on page 49 in our mini catalog right here. So you, you see the gems and uh, the leaves. And here's the bundle that we used today and this beautiful designer series paper. So I'm going to grab my take your pick tool and we're going to put a gem up there and put one right here. And then let's put one about right there. Okay, so here is our quick and easy card. It's a perfect card to use at Thanksgiving. You are such a blessing. You can have this card laying on their place setting at the table along with the name tag. So here you have two quick and easy projects that you can make and use for your holiday table this Thanksgiving. I hope you liked these two quick and easy projects today that you can use this Thanksgiving. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe by clicking that subscribe button and the bell notification so you will get notified when I upload videos. I really appreciate that. There's also a place where you can give me a thumbs up or a like or share this video. Again, I'm Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day and happy Thanksgiving.